great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Yeah, you well, you're very welcome back now. We are all very excited in the kitchen this morning because she's back. Catherine Layden back. is back and she's sharing the secret to perfect scones. Yeah, we've the couple scones, ready. Scones. Everything's ready, Catherine. Everything's ready. You're going to have some hot ones in a few yeah. minutes' time. First thing you do, even if somebody lands in the doorstep and you have the biscuit to give them a cup of tea, you leave your scones on the table in 20 minutes. Oh, First thing you do, really? turn, yeah, turn on your oven. But you'd have to have all the ingredients yeah. in that. Well, you could, you'd have them in your store cupboard. You'd be down if to only, the shop and back yeah. again. All you have minutes. is flour, salt, a bit of sugar, which is optional, and butter and milk. Every oh, house has that. That's it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, first thing you do, turn on your oven, get it up to 200 degrees, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark six, good and hot. Dust your tin with flour, put your tin into the oven and heat it. Oh. All right, okay. That but burns the, scones, the bottom of it then, so that kind of... It heats the tin so the scones will rise very quickly mm. for you. Okay. Here we have 225 grams, that's um, eight ounces of our um, self-raising flour. To that we're going to add a pinch of salt. And I'm going to add a tablespoonful of golden castor sugar. Now, if you want to serve these savoury, you don't have to, you could add some pepper with it. Or even if you're serving it with jam and cream, as we are today, um, you can leave out the sugar altogether, OK? OK. Now, to that, we're going to add one ounce or a tablespoonful of butter. And you just quickly... So that's it? That's it. You wouldn't credit so it. So if you're doing fruit scones, is this where you put them in as well now? You'd put the yeah, here now, raisins on, and you, the stuff in here now. If you check the recipe, on the recipe as well, I have... Now, I'm doing these plain because a certain lady doesn't like fruit. <sighs> oh, ho, ho, so... Who doesn't like fruit? We're... Warren, she's do you not, not like fruit? fruit. She's, not like doing, she's not doing. She's not doing the cookery segment. Oh, we have to give her We have to give like her raisins and um, and so so She doesn't so like raisins. What's the and secret sometimes. to a good scone then? Because if it's that tin, quick, preheating the tin. Preheating the tin is the first first rule, right? Right. Now, on the recipe, you'll see a recipe for fruit scones and for wholemeal scones as well. If you just want brown scones, oh yeah. yeah. But I'm using plain ones here today. Mm. Right. So now, to that, we're going to add 150 mils. That's a quarter pint of milk. Now, don't spend too long at this, because, to be honest, the, um, the quicker you get these into the preheated oven, the better. 150 mils. Now, gradually add the milk, as I've said several times before, because yeah. if you get too much, you can't get it out. You must have said that hundreds of times thousands. over the years. <laughs> thousands of times I've said it. Add the milk gradually. <laughs> gradually. <laughs> milk or water-making pastry. Yeah. Oops. And it's always great better to err on the, um, the dry side. Now, you just bring the mixture together really quickly. That's it now, ready for rolling and shaping. Dust your board with some flour. You could be now, if somebody, if somebody dropped in, you could be chatting to them, making, making these. Absolutely. And they'd be in the oven. And would this be something you'd make now, Catherine? If we were to nip oh, yeah. over to the house, would yeah. you fire on some scones pretty quickly? Very quickly. These scones? are scones. Yeah, scones scone, or scones, yeah. it depends. Are you a scone, from, right? I'm a scone man. What do you I'm Catherine? a scone man. Scone, yeah. Scone woman. What do yep. you call... Yeah, now, joke I'm only gone? making about four or five today from this quantity, but you can double the ingredients as well. So we just lightly, now it's very important here, you don't press the mixture out. We want to keep all that air in to give us a nice, light, well-risen scone. So just roll it around until it's smooth on top. Then press it down, about an inch high. Take your cutter. Now, next secret. If a plain edge, although in the old days a plain edge was a savoury scone, fluted edge was a sweet scone, oh, but go. if you have a plain edge, it's easier to get a nice well-risen scone. Do not twist the cutter, bang it down, stab it, as I say in the recipe. Yeah. Why not stab twist it into it? the dough. You'll get a flying top on it after baking. <laughs> what well, what's a flying top? When it oh, it actually rise comes, evenly, yeah, it, it comes, comes right over, off. yeah, at exactly. one side. Exactly. Right. Okay. There are a few very important tips coming up here. Right. Now. There you go. Couldn't be easier. That's, that's three scones done quickly. You probably have two more there as well. Just about. We might we do one anyway, Tommy, and then we'll get the ones out of the oven. Again, just stab it. Don't done. twist it. Stab it. Wow. There we go. There you now, go. out of the oven. We have a big tray of them in here. But first of all, we're going to take put that them tray out. Tin. So that's hot enough now. Yeah, you see the flour is golden yeah, brown. Yeah. yeah. Good hot. Another tip to stop the fly over top. Put them on the tin fairly close together so they help each other to stay oh, to a good shape. Yeah. yeah. Now we just put these but in. Will it, will they, they will still cook nicely when they're all close together, will they? Wait till you see now, Alan. Look in at that. Look lovely, yeah. Out they come. Oh, wow. Look, nice oh, scone. warm scone. Yeah, warm. Now, boys and scone. girls. Here we go. Scone. It's a scone. Scone's a posh way of calling it. No, 
Oh, it's not a scone. Is a posh way of following him. No. The next tip I have for both of you, and all the viewers out there, there's yours. <laughs> okay. Yours is here. Look at that. Oh, look. Now, don't put the knife near it yet, because... Now, there's your filling, your jam, your cream and your butter. Yeah. Okay. So, so what's, what's the next tip? tip? What's the next you should tip? never have to put a knife in a scone or a scone. Oh, right. You don't have Why to you cut it. Break it. Correct. Break it open, really? Watch. Oh, pressure. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Okay, okay let's if you try put, this, Tommy. If you put so, a knife in a scone, you're going to affect the texture it of it. Literally there you just go, look at that. Yeah. Look, it literally just literally just comes apart. Hello. Very fair. Are Listen, are we even surprised, Captain? <laughs> are we even surprised? Oh. Now, a bit of butter. What, har what harm is it to cut it? It affects the texture, and if it doesn't break apart like that for you, it's too dry. It'll just crumble and fall to bits. Oh, look at that. And by the way, I find as well, don't use too big a cutter. Nowadays, you go into coffee shops and you get half a a loaf of bread nearly for the oh, scone. Oh, I know. The scones are the size of your head. Absolutely. Massive <laughs> things. And they're spread all over the show. Do people panic when you go into a bakery and they see you come and you oh, the no, time, here we yeah, go. Lots of ladies in the coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but listen, Captain, everything. you spoke earlier about how you got COVID and stuff. How are you feeling now? You I'm recovered great. okay? Yeah, yeah. And I'm very tired, but I, I'm feeling great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And were you okay in the house? You're, people were able to, you know, your neighbours and stuff I, well, able to I, look I out just, for you and everything as well? I just locked myself down. I wasn't feeling for much for the first first two days. But I'll tell you what I miss terribly. Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, your companion, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Gone. Yeah. So I was really feeling sorry for myself, but I think we're back to normal now, please yeah. God. Yeah. Absolutely. 2022, we're coming, we're we're coming, coming for you. you. No, I'm coming, coming for you. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have some scones here for everybody. Oh, well, Catherine, these they are, are delicious. Yeah. Did you put jam and cream on it? Yeah. Oh. No cream, Alan. I'm going to put a little bit of cream. Put a small bit of cream on. Oh, they it's are delicious. Egg. Captain, thank Cup you so much. Off thank we you. Go. Fab. Now, we're going to be uh, chatting about phrases earlier. We were chatting about phrases earlier, and our next guest is one of the most iconic catchphrases in Hollywood. What is it? Tommy? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew McConaughey is going to be chatting to us next. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right. Great recipes starts with Odlands. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.